We have um, situations now where adjusters are working from their own homes. This opens up a com completely different scenario where those adjusters might be sitting sitting at their house, but they're handling claims throughout the, throughout the nation. And if that's the case, it doesn't matter if you're in Kansas. It doesn't matter if you're in a state that doesn't license. You need to have a license for every state that you're handling claims for. In this video, learn everything you need to know about adjuster licensing, including which license to get first and how to get it, how to avoid common licensing pitfalls, and why you should probably get all the licenses. Starting now. <laughs> This is Adjuster TV. Hey, Matt here with Adjuster TV and for the best tips, tools, and training for becoming a first call adjuster, subscribe now. You wanna help this channel? Hit the bell notification so that you never miss a video. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Paysetter Claim Service. Learn more at adjustertv.com slash paysetter. e &O provider, Kaplik. Download the free insurance for adjusters guide at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. Hague Education. US tape and Eberl claim service. Apply now at eberls.com and let them know that Adjuster TV sent you. And thank you to all our sponsors and everybody who watches and supports Adjuster TV. You know, we're coming up on five years of Adjuster TV videos, videos that we've created just for you to help you learn what this calling is all about, if it's right for you, how to get started quickly without wasting money and how to crush it as a claims professional. For more information, head on over to adjustertv.com slash start. And coming up, Learn all about how reciprocity works and how to get your first license. And now it's time for the NACA Minute. As we head into what I like to call the training and network season, catastrophe property adjusters should probably be thinking about preparing for the next storm season. Whether you're brand new to this industry or you've been doing it a while, there's no better time to build skills and relationships. One of the best ways I could think of to do this is to attend the National Association of Catastrophe Adjusters or NACA annual convention. For 2022, it's back in Las Vegas at the Flamingo Hotel and Casino, January 23rd through the 27th. There are seven different tracks of live trainings from property and flood to auto and carrier certifications, many of which qualify for CE. And of course, the opportunity to interview with more than 40 independent adjusting firms. Early bird pricing is still in effect, but it's not gonna last forever. You know, you can be a tough guy and register and pay when you show up to the conference, but you'll end up paying even more the day of. So it's worth it to commit to coming right now. And by the way, you don't have to be a member to attend the convention, but membership does have its benefits. Hi, this is Bob Euler. I'm the Executive Vice President for Mid-America Catastrophe Services. Uh, we're based out of Mobile. We do daily claims uh, nationwide in all 50 states. And we also do catastrophe claims nationwide. I came on board in 2019 and we doubled in size in 2019 and we doubled again in 2020. And we're here at NACA looking for new adjusters and, and adjuster talent to join our team. Very important for adjusters to come to NACA. It's a good venue, a one-stop shopping place for adjusters to network and sign up for, on the Rosses, hopefully of Mid-America, but of all the 27 other IA firms that are here. Just being a member in, in general, it, it, it puts you in front of a lot of independent adjusting firms. It puts you in front of some of the carriers that come, come to these events as well. If you're a member of NACA, it's recognized as one of the organizations that vet, truly vets their membership, that they are independent adjusters, that they have worked in the independent adjusting field as well. Hi, I'm Julie Rock Chatelier. I'm the Vice President of Strategic Initiatives with Proventure & Company. Uh, Proventure & Company is a independent adjusting company based out of Hammond, Louisiana. That's where our National Claim Center is. We've been in business for 15 years and we primarily handle large loss commercial claims. Proventure loves to come to NACA. We, we love supporting NACA. We're involved in the, um, the committees and things like that. We love reaching out to the adjusters, new, seasoned. Uh, it's a great opportunity to just meet the different uh, adjusters, meet the different vendors, other IAs. We love to partner with other IAs and just share our experiences with each other. Uh, we love that NACA has a lot of training opportunities for adjusters. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for those experienced adjusters. So when they come here and they can get that training, it's always a great thing for us as well. I 
think the benefit of attending NACA for us as an IA company is that we get to see more of the adjusters. A lot of these other conferences are geared more towards the, to the companies, to the vendors. Uh, so it's it's nice to be able to interact a little more with the adjusters themselves. You know, NACA um, as a whole to the industry. It's great, you know, the, the adjusters get to uh, speak with each other, get to meet with the different IAs. Again, I always go back to the training. That's anybody who comes to my booth who doesn't have that experience, always go back to that training. Get that training, and this provides them with the opportunity and the outlets to, to find that training. For discounts on lodging, gear, training, licensing, and CE, as well as one-on-one -on -one mentorships, join NACA right now at NACATADJ.org. And of course, the convention is an outstanding place to network and one of the best places to interview with dozens and dozens of IA firms all in one place, all in one week. Hi, my name is Melissa Britton. I'm the CEO of Adjuster Pro. Adjuster Pro provides online pre-licensing, exam prep, and continuing education for adjusters. Hi, I'm Mark Richardson with Adjuster Pro. I uh, handle corporate account management. My name is Jesse Gibson, and I work in corporate account development at Adjuster Pro. We have um, situations now where adjusters are working from their own homes. This opens up a com completely different scenario where those adjusters might be sitting sitting at their house, but they're handling claims throughout the, throughout the nation. And if that's the case, it doesn't matter if you're in Kansas. It doesn't matter if you're in a state that doesn't license. You need to have a license for every state that you're handling claims for. But also from an independent adjusting firm's perspective or a corporate carrier's perspective, the, the rule right now is let's just get everybody licensed for everything. And that's a place where the, the industry was, was kind of tending toward. But now that adjusters are actually working from home, I think that's, I don't think that's gonna go away anytime soon. Obviously the big question that we get is how do you get your license? So getting your adjuster license is actually pretty simple. The major things that you need is you need to pass the exam and you need to do an application. Some states will require that you show proof that you've taken a pre-licensing course. And other states will require that you also um, submit fingerprints to them. So for instance, if you're in Texas, the process to get your license are take a, an approved pre-licensing course through Adjuster Pro, which also includes the exam at the end. Once you have completed your pre-licensing or your exam prep and exam, next step is to apply. Each state has their own application, but most states are, are moving in the direction that you can apply online. Several states have their own unique quirks or qualities in the licensing process. Um, for example, Florida uh, will require you, once you have your license, you need to be appointed to work uh, for independence. You're able to appoint yourself. Um, if you're a staff adjuster working with the company, it's probably something they're gonna handle or may have already, um, but something to check with your licensing supervisor and just make sure that step is being followed through upon. An additional uh, state with a quirk is North Carolina. Um, actually, before you can even register for your exam, you need to um, apply for the license. Once you have uh, completed the application, then you'll be able to go ahead and uh, register for the exam. You may need to get your fingerprints depending on the state. We always recommend getting your fingerprints done because it's going to help you with reciprocity moving forward. At that point, you're just waiting for the license to get processed. Most states can process the license in under two weeks. So states actually don't send you a physical license anymore. You're just gonna get a notification in your email that you got a license number. Reciprocity is always a huge question that we get asked. Once I have my home state license, how do I get licenses in other states? Once you have your home state license, it's very easy to get other licenses reciprocally through NIPR, National Insurance Producer Registry. You only need to take the training and the exam for your home state. Um, as long as your home state licenses adjusters, you can go on to NIPR, choose the states that you want to get a license for reciprocally, and click go, and, and you can submit uh, an application to all of those states all at once. You'll need to pay for each state, so there is some confusion there. I think some people at times get confused by the fact that even though you don't need to take a state exam, even though you don't need to do any more exam prep, you still have to apply for those other licenses and you still have to pay for those other licenses. So it might cost you $70, $100 to get a license in, in an additional state, 
but you don't have to do any additional prep for it as long as you have your home state license. Now with that being said, you need to wait till you actually have your home state license. You can't just apply for a Texas license and then hop onto NIPR. You're gonna need to know what your home state information is, your home state license number, and be able to fill it all in to receive those other states through reciprocity. You may come across a state that doesn't um, allow reciprocity. So for instance, California, Hawaii, New York are examples of states that you actually have to take their exam in order for you to get a license in those states. So getting your home state license, going on NIPR and getting all the states that you can reciprocally is gonna take care of 80% of it, but there are gonna be those, those one-off states that you're gonna need to do a little bit more. Like I said, New York, California, Hawaii. If you have a designated home state license, you can add Alaska and Arizona to that list um, that they won't uh, recognize a DHS for reciprocity. And remember, reciprocity isn't a two-way street. So just because your reciprocal adjusters from one state are reciprocal to another doesn't mean that it works in reverse. For instance, if you're a licensed adjuster in New York and you want a license in Florida, you can just apply for that license. But if you're a licensed adjuster in Florida, the reciprocity does not work that way, so you actually have to take that exam to get that license in New York. Adjuster licensing can be really complicated at times. Um, and if you're not sure exactly what the rules are in your state or what licenses are reciprocal with your state, we have a really cool resource on our website we call it the Reciprocity Map. You can click on your state and see a map of all the licenses available to you through reciprocity. Uh, we hear people telling us, um, hey, is this really right on your reciprocity map? And they're checking it out and they're wanting to double check um, you know, something they didn't know beforehand. Scroll to the bottom, we have some frequently asked questions um, and really a step-by-step -step what you're gonna need to do to get that license and go on and get deployed and start working. Okay, so you've got your license, now you have to keep your license, right? After the break, learn all about continuing education and how to get it. And later, is the New York license really that hard to get? And why? It's not really optional. Get long measurements with the best, most durable tapes for commercial and industrial use. That means you, adjuster. Use code ADJUSTERTV at checkout for a discount on anything at ustape.com. Are you interested in more than just punching a clock and paying the bills? Wouldn't you rather be on the A-team surrounded by the best of the best in the industry? Then you need to check out Eberl Claim Service. For well over 30 years, Eberl's philosophy of treating adjusters as they wish to be treated has allowed them to establish a vast network of the most professional, educated, and dedicated adjusters in the industry. So at Eberl, you're in good company. If you're a motivated and compassionate adjuster slash claims professional, Eberl wants you to represent their organization. Go to jobs.eberls.com right now and get started with Eberl Claim Service. As an independent adjuster, do you feel like you only have bad, expensive choices for health insurance plans? And when you have to use the insurance, you'll have to pay a lot out of pocket? Makes you wonder why you even have insurance in the first place. The stakes are high. Having no coverage puts you and your family at risk. It doesn't have to be this way. You want peace of mind with common sense health coverage you can count on that doesn't include things you don't need. You need real insurance with world-class protection from established carriers, not health sharing and not cobbled together prepaid medical. And you shouldn't have to wait for it. Get approved in days, not weeks. There is no risk and no cost to see if you qualify for these high quality plans. Not everybody will qualify, but you've got nothing to lose by getting a free consultation. Visit adjustertv.com slash health for more information and to apply. This is Adjuster TV. If your home state licenses adjusters and you are ready to renew and you need continuing education, the best rule of thumb that we can say to everybody is as long as your state requires 24 hours of continuing education and including three hours of ethics, then you're not gonna need to do any additional CE over and above your home state to be able to renew the licenses in those reciprocal states. You may still need to renew it, but at the time that you click renew, it's gonna check and say, hey, is your home state license compliant? If your home state license is compliant and you fulfill those 24 hours, three hours of ethics, then it's gonna automatically renew those other, those other states. What we recommend for people whose home state maybe has a different CE requirement than the 24 hours with three ethics is we recommend go ahead and fulfill that requirement for your home state. They're not gonna, they're not gonna 
not take it just because you do three hours of ethics. So we say, hey, this is what some states require, Can, so do that for your home state. If you're from a state that doesn't require that three hour of ethics, take it anyway, and that way all of your reciprocity is gonna be taken care of. You're not gonna have to deal with a situation where, oh, Texas requires three hours of ethics, but I didn't take those because my state didn't require it. Go ahead and take it. All adjusters should plan to do 24 hours of CE total, uh, which would include the three hour of ethics. So 21 general, three hours of ethics is gonna get you your 24 hours that will fulfill the requirements for your home state as well as meeting any special requirements that you would need from a reciprocal standpoint. So let's talk about DHS a little bit. DHS is a designated home state license. There are 16 states that don't license adjusters. Um, but we live in a, in a world where those adjusters from those states are still going to want to go and handle claims in different states. If you're from Kansas and you want to just handle claims in Kansas, then yeah, chances are you can, you can just not have a license and handle claims in Kansas. But very rarely is somebody in that situation where they don't want to go outside of their, their state, especially if they want to work cat claim or maybe they want to work for a major carrier who, who handles a lot of claims in a um, in a service center, you're gonna to have to have licenses for multiple states. Talking about designated home state licenses, like we said, if your home state does not license adjusters, basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is choose a state that you're going to designate as your home state. One big confusing piece that people get to is they think, oh, I'll just choose a state even if my state licenses adjusters. You can't do that. So if your state licenses adjusters, you have to get your home state license. If I live in Texas, I cannot designate Florida as my home state. I gotta get my Texas license and then go and get Florida reciprocally. If I live in a non-licensing state though, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Kansas, one of the 16, I can choose which state I want to go and designate as my home state. And coming up, do you have a boo-boo on your permanent record? Get caught underage at a college party with a beer in your hand by the popo? Find out if you can even get an adjuster license if you have a misdemeanor or worse, a felony on your record. And later, find out which states are the best DHS states and why. Watch Storm Chasers Max Olson and Evan Hatch as they capture the landfall, eye wall, and storm surge destruction of the powerful and historic Hurricane Ida. Right now on Adjuster TV. Fire in hand. Three, two, one. Coming up on Adjuster TV. Get an exclusive inside look at the forensic testing lab at Hague Education and Hague Research and Testing. Learn how Hague can help you get noticed by IA firms and make you a better adjuster. Only on Adjuster TV. This is Adjuster TV. You ever feel like you've been thrown to the wolves by the IA firms you work for, like you're just a number on a roster? Wouldn't it be nice to work with a firm who's big enough to get plenty of work, but still small enough to know you by your first name? Then let me tell you about my friends at the Oklahoma-based IA firm, Pacesetter Claim Service. Founded in 1997, the thing that sets Pacesetter apart is their relentless pursuit of excellence. They hold themselves and their team of adjusters to a higher standard of quality. And now with their advanced all-in-one claims platform called Evo, You'll get a real-time Uber-style map and communication link to the insured, automatic messages sent to customers throughout the process, file review automation, and a fast, accurate scope with Paysetter's partnership with Hover. Hover is integrated directly into Evo, making for a smooth and seamless field scoping experience for you as the adjuster. Technology is moving faster than ever, and Paysetter is right there at the cutting edge. And Paysetter is bringing training to a city near you. Check out their summer tour dates at adjustertv.com slash Paysetter. I wish we could say there's an easy way to sum everything up, but there's also still gonna be those, um, those one-off states that, that cause a little bit of, um, or at least have some discrepancy from the norm. Let me give you an example. Arizona licenses adjusters, but they don't require CE for renewal. So you might have a reciprocal license based on your home state license in Arizona, um, but when a reciprocal state goes to check and see, hey, are they compliant in their home state? Some of those states are gonna say, yep, they're compliant. They're not gonna worry about the fact that you don't need CE for Arizona. 
But there are some states like Texas and Florida, they're gonna say, yeah, is their home state license compliant and have they completed 24 hours of CE? Even though Arizona doesn't require that CE, and you might not even find CE for Arizona because it's not a requirement, you're gonna need to go and do CE for a different state. So what we might recommend is, hey, I'm from Arizona, I have my Arizona license, I'm gonna go ahead and fulfill the CE requirement. I'm gonna choose 24 hours of Florida CE with the five hours of law and ethics. Fulfill that requirement. And then other states that do have a CE requirement are gonna see, yes, my home state license is compliant and I've taken 24 hours of CE. Great, let's continue that license reciprocally. It's commonly thought that the New York license is particularly hard to get. This has some truth to it, but maybe isn't as difficult as it first seems. Like most other states, uh, there's a uh, course you can take, not required, but will help you pass the exam. The exam is one of the more difficult, um, which I do think lends itself to that uh, legend of the difficulty for the New York exam, or the New York license, excuse me. The, the exam itself can be a bit difficult to pass, um, but once you pass the exam, uh, the steps are fairly similar to most other states. Um, you need to get uh, apply for the license, you need to get fingerprinted, um, one additional step that is a little bit unusual is you do need to get a $1,000 surety bond, uh, which, unlike its name, will only run you about $80 to $100. The application itself is a little bit longer than most as well. Um, there's a step requiring five letters of character reference um, that involved um, one, of the, one of the things that might make you spend a little bit more time working through the New York application versus other states. At the end of the day, a few additional hoops to jump through uh, but definitely nothing prohibitive. I'm sure partially due to these added steps and probably even more so because of the um, added legend of how hard it is to get, um, there is often a, a distinct lack of New York adjusters, uh, making it one of the quickest ways to get a deployment opportunity. Um, once you have that license, you're in a sort of a select group um, and there's just gonna be lots of opportunities available to you, you know, with that license that most people just don't take the time or the effort to get. Most states only require that you're 18 years old, you can pass a background check, and that you're a citizen or a legal resident. As part of the background check, you might wonder what happens if you have a felony. Every state handles that a little bit differently. Some states actually will list out disqualifying periods for certain felonies. Some felonies will ban you for life, such as fraud. Other felonies will have disqualifying periods in which after a certain amount of years, they won't count it against you for your license. Some states will list that on their website. For most states, it's a good idea to call the Department of Insurance and talk to them about your specific situation. You want a list of any documents that you have relating to your case. Misdemeanors aren't usually counted against you when you're applying for your license, but that's another thing you might want to ask your Department of Insurance. And coming up, if you live in one of the 16 states that don't license adjusters, learn which states are the best for getting your DHS license and why. Being a claim adjuster can be a rewarding experience, helping people during a time of need. However, that experience can quickly turn in the form of claims or lawsuits made against you. Facing a lawsuit can be a terrifying and stressful experience, jeopardizing years of hard work and success. If you don't have adequate insurance coverage, you are putting yourself at great financial risk. Don't stand alone. Let Kaplik stand with you. At Kaplik, we provide financial security and peace of mind through our insurance products designed specifically for the independent claim adjuster. What makes Kaplik unique is our industry-leading expertise in providing guidance, risk management, and support to reduce your risk, protect your reputation, and maintain client relationships. Unlike other insurance providers, our coverage is straightforward and easy to understand, tailored exclusively for claim adjusters and insurance service firms. Our in-house expertise and experienced staff understand the nuances of the adjusting industry, a difference you'll feel and understand from the moment you contact us. After all, Kaplik was founded and continues to be run by independent adjusters. Just like you, we handle everything so you don't have to. From individual adjusters to national leaders, Kaplik is there for you. With Kaplik, you're not just a policyholder, you're an owner. Kaplik is member owned and member run, which means that you get a say in how we best serve you. If you make your living as an independent claim adjuster, stop paying for generic or inadequate coverage that may not fully protect you. Join the Kaplik family for a personalized experience. Premiums start at surprisingly affordable prices for all of the coverage you need. 
For a fast quote, apply online now at www.cplic.net slash apply. We've really spent a lot of time and energy and resources into building up our website and making it, um, you know, just like our course offerings, a one-stop shop. Um, whether you have a question, so question about what adjusting is and if you should get into it, um, what requirements you need based on the state you currently live in, um, if you split time between two states, which license you should go for, um, and then once you've fulfilled the requirements, how you go up, go on and get that license, and then even beyond, I have the license, how do I get deployed? Um, all that information is contained on our website. Uh, we have you know, a really, really unique resource in our reciprocity map that plenty of companies come back to and refer to all the time. So I, I highly recommend start with your home state, find out if your home state licenses. Um, if it doesn't license, we always recommend going to Texas and Florida, but there are other options available to you. Most of the time, you can choose any licensing state to do that. There are some exceptions. What we recommend is choosing a state that checks all the boxes for licensure, right? So you don't wanna, you're not gonna be able to use as a designated home state, even if the state allows it, a state that doesn't have an exam or a state that doesn't require fingerprinting. You can still get that as your designated home state, but you're gonna really struggle when you try to get other state licenses reciprocally. So what we recommend is choosing a state like Florida or Texas where they check all the boxes. If you're trying to decide which designated home state license to get, it's a good idea to choose a state that has four of, all four of those requirements. So a pre-licensing requirement, an exam requirement, application, and fingerprints. That way you're gonna ensure that you have the most reciprocal license possible. If you wanna find out the licensing requirements in your state, every state page on our website has the requirements for each state license and it has links on where you need to go to do not only the course, but also the application and fingerprint requirements if available. We talk about adjusting as a career, and I think there's that tendency of people to say, hey, I heard this is a really easy career to get into, right? It doesn't require a lot of training. It doesn't require a lot of um, money. It doesn't require you to go to school for four years. But I also don't wanna, we wanna make sure that it's really clear that it's not just a, hey, get your license and sit around and wait for a phone call. You know, it is a career, right? It's gonna, it's gonna give you what you put into it. So the more that you can do, second you get that license, the more that you can do to really get yourself up to speed and ready to go, the better. First thing we definitely say to start with, um, and this is kind of a kind of a no-brainer, you gotta do this one. If you're gonna handle any property claims, even before you, know, before you get the call, you're gonna wanna sign up for Xactimate. Um, you're gonna wanna definitely get into an Xactimate program. We offer it online um, and start to get up to speed there. Most um, independent adjusting firms right now are gonna say, hey, first thing they're gonna, do they have their license? Have they had Xactimate? And then they're gonna start looking at other things that, that they might need you to do, whether it be um, a certain carrier certification or a WIND certification or something like that. But those first two are gonna be, do they have their license? Do they have ex Xactimate? And a lot of times they won't even look at your application. They might, just, they might just skip over to the next guy if you haven't checked those two boxes. We offer our total adjuster package where we, where we package them together at a discount and get your home state license take our three-day Xactimate webinar. It's live, um, live training delivered through a webinar and fulfills the requirements for most people, um, definitely, definitely to get your level one certification with Xactimate, but for, for many, um, even moving up into their level two certification. Even more than that, it checks that box for independent adjusting firms to say this person already has Xactimate, they're ready to go. We also have our adjuster success method course in our total adjuster package. So if, if, you, if you're on our website and you see total adjuster package, that's what that means. It's your licensing course, your Xactimate, and the adjuster success method, which is, hey, what do I need to be doing right now to make sure I get a job? as well as prepare myself as best I can to, um, to once I get out there in the field. Are you ready to get your license or continuing education taken care of? Head on over to adjustertv.com slash adjusterpro right now. And full disclosure, I am an affiliate for Adjuster Pro. So if you purchase something through the links on that page, I'm gonna earn a small commission. This costs you nothing, but it really helps us keep creating the videos and trainings that you want. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this Adjuster TV special presentation. If you did and you got something valuable out of this video, won't you hit the like button? It really helps Adjuster TV grow. Thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.